Hey everyone, it's Tim with Click Jurassic, and I'm back with another video review today of the Savage Strike Pleasy Store. This is the latest Savage Strike figure to drop as part of Mattel's Dino Rivals Jurassic World line. Uh, this is a definitely a very, very popular figure. Uh, came in the Battle Damage line before it. We'll be looking at that comparison today, but the Savage Strike. Um, obviously it's an all new figure and it's probably the, the first non-exclusive version of this plesiosaurus that people are going to be able to get their hands on with that battle damage one being so rare and uh, an exclusive here in the U.S. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this figure open. Um, we'll take a look at the packaging real quick. You already got the flyby, but of course we have um, Savage Strike on the front. Um, and we also have the back, which uh, like all Mattel figures kind of has, has a uh, ideal rendered version of this figure showing how the uh, Savage Strike action works, paddling action, and a preview of the card as well as the other figures that you can get as part of the wave. But um, we'll go ahead and look at that paddling action once we get the actual figure out. So we'll go ahead and start doing that. I got my trusty knife here. Uh, ooh, this figure is going to be a little bit harder to, to open here on camera without doing anything dangerous. So um, sometimes the strings are real easy to get to and sometimes they aren't. And this is a, a case of them not being real easy to get to. But... Actually, I think I can just slide him out. Look at that one string, and he is out. So, um, go ahead and put the packaging off frame. We can take a look at this beautiful figure here. Uh, yeah, I mean, the figure looks great. It's a great version of a plesiosaur. I love Mattel's version of the plesiosaur, and this Savage Strike version is definitely no different. Uh, it still has basically uh, the same exact proportions as the previous release Battle Damage version, which we'll get into the review here in a second but yeah i just like the coloration on this it feels very um natural uh it's not too vibrant or too crazy it feels like something that would really be you know swimming in um in an aquatic environment so uh i'm going anxious to try out the savage strike feature uh, which is a button on the back and if we press the button he does a uh, kind of an alternating uh, fin movement which is really cool um i've seen a lot of different savage strikes you know most of them are biting or slashing but this actually feels pretty cool it's kind of like a swimming motion um it's kind of hard to see on camera maybe getting all four shown on camera but they kind of alternate the front flip up the back flip down and it's kind of just it's, it's a nice feature it's better than just some chomping jaws or a neck that thrusts down but beyond that savage strike action we do we can talk about articulation here um there's uh, some articulation in the tail which is really nice tail actually can go up and down um the fins themselves are not articulated you can't you can rotate them yeah you can rotate every single one on its axis but as far as like moving it up and down that's all going to be tied to the actual um savage strike action feature so you're not going to be able to um you know rotate them uh that way uh going up the neck we do have a uh, articulation on the base part of the neck as well as this um, strange joint midway through which kind of lets you create some really cool poses as well as some really awkward like broken neck um, poses then of course we have the jaw itself um, which is articulated you can open up uh, plesio's mouth there for uh, for a meal <laughs> um, but uh, just like the other version of the figure um, that articulation is the same. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the uh, battle damage version of the um, plesiosaur in this in this review. Um, it's kind of a hard to do an even playing field as this guy. We can't rotate his uh, fins for him to, um, to for him to pose like the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the other one so he's kind of more on this guy's level. He's weighted a little differently though, so he doesn't want to. There we go. So there we go. That's both of the Mattel um, plesiosaurs that have been re released so far. Uh, the one on the right being the battle damage version, which is actually pretty hard to come by. We got ours from Guatemala, um, but they're they're kind of hard to find. They came out in the U.S. a little bit on Walmart.com. Uh, very low numbers, um, but. Uh, yeah, this one's, uh, you know, main feature is going to be the battle damage, which I won't do a whole review of this one since I actually have a review on my channel, but that's all he does. And he has some articulation as well, um, just like the other figure. Um, but this one, of course, is going to have the Savage Strike. I am noticing, though, that the tail articulation is different across these figures. On the battle damage version, it's static. You can't move the tail, whereas on the Savage Strike version, you can move the tail. So uh, that's an interesting... Um, 
you know, interesting difference. Another thing too is the coloration is actually a little different on, on these guys. Um, if you can take a look there, uh, the battle image version is a little bit more torn up, a little bit more um, of the base color showing through, whereas Savage Strike, it's a little more solid. And if you go up through the neck, the way it hits the head is um, totally different. Uh, there's actually a big space in the Savage Strike version's neck where the paint doesn't quite touch. So, um, yeah, besides those paint and articulation, articulation differences, uh, the figures really are, um, you know, more or less the same, which is cool because they're kind of like a, you know, like a lot of Mattel repaints, they're sort of like a, a pair, you know, which uh, I definitely appreciate. Um, other thing that I want to notice or I want to call out here is that the packaging for these figures was a little bit different, whereas the Battle Image version sort of is... Um, tied into its package on its side. The Savage Strike was tied on its belly, so they kind of give you a different view of the figure. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see two figures in the same footprint of packaging um, kind of inhabit uh, inhabit that packaging differently. So obviously the Battle Damage version was to show off the Battle Damage on its side, whereas uh, Savage Strike was meant for uh, you to push the button and um, for you to push the button and kind of do the Savage Strike um, action in the packaging. So. Um, I think that's going to be about it for our comparison. So we'll go ahead and put the um, go ahead and put that version aside. But we also have the card for the figure that I took out of package off camera. But uh, cool illustration of the plesiosaur for sure. I really like the teeth in this kind of uh, iteration. So um, yep, there's the card for you. But really cool um, to have another plesiosaur. This one should definitely be getting a wider release because it is Savage Strike and Savage Strike seem to have kind of, um, you know, been released everywhere in the world, including here in the U.S. with some regularity um, as far as like new waves coming and going. So um, this would be the next wave of Savage Strike. I think it would be, if you're counting them as waves, it's like wave three or something, but uh, only new figure in that wave. So this one will be a little harder to chase down. I actually think it's one per case pack, but um, you know, definitely worth it because the plesiosaur is kind of such a unique species and Mattel's take on the figure is obviously excellent, at least in my opinion. Um, you know, the, the sculpt detail is great, the teeth, the, the flippers, the proportions, um, it's all very cool. Uh, and as far as the size goes, it's just right. Uh, people will probably say it's small, but in fact, this is kind of how big Plesiosaur was when compared to a human figure. So it is just right. And of course, the Savage Strike version has that really clever um, swimming feature too, which I definitely appreciate. So um, yeah, this is kind of a, a, a brief review because there's not much more I can say about this figure other than uh, I'm happy with it and I can't wait for it to get a wider release so everyone can get one. So I think that's all about, about all we'll go over today so thanks for joining me uh, i'm tim with collect jurassic and if you love this review and you want to see the review for the other plesiosaur definitely go check it out on my channel um, and until next time uh happy hunting